Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit your audio inside Filmora 10. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase the volume of your audio, how to reduce the volume, and also how to change the pitch, how to use audio ducking, and how to add the audio effect to your video. I'll also show you some tips and tricks on how to use the audio mixer inside this program. Okay, so the first thing first, this software is not completely free. It has a watermark on the output. If you want to remove that watermark, you need to purchase a license. So I have a 20% discount coupon code where I put in the description below. If you want to purchase it, save your money. Okay, let's go to the software. Okay, so here I am inside uh, Filmora 10. So this is a footage of me talking in front of the camera. I'm going to use this as an example. So we need it to drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline. Okay, uh, let's drag and drop it. Uh, so you see here, this is a video uh, with the audio inside. So you can see the, this is the audio waveform. Let's play it. Ooh. Hello everyone, welcome to my... So you see that there's an audio inside the, uh, inside the video and you can hear it uh, very clear. By the way, you, if you look at the waveform, it is very, very low. So because uh, we have a video and the audio inside, so the waveform uh, will not show because uh, the track height is, uh, to, is just normal. Uh, and when, when, we play the, you know, when we play the video uh, with the audio inside, we will see that there is the, the audio meter so it will show the the audio of the video. Uh, let's say uh, let's say like this. In so this you see video, here. I'm going to show you how to. So uh, to to pull out this one, this audio meter, you just need to uh, left click on that, and you see it here, right? And now we can play the video with the audio audio inside. To edit your audio using Filmora 10. So inside Filmora. So it's better, right? So it show, show you the audio level, okay? So that is the first tips. Uh, pull out the audio meter here if you want to edit the audio inside Filmora 10. Uh, and, the, and the second tips, if you want to increase or reduce the volume of the audio, just uh, see here, right, uh, right inside the video on the timeline, you have this line, this uh, white line. This is the, the line to control the volume of the audio. You can uh, level up, uh, you can, Increase the, uh, the volume by pressing your left mouse cursor and then drag this line up and you see you see the waveform right and it it will uh, it will also show you the level of the audio by this bell okay uh, and let's play it now to see hello everyone welcome to my channel so this is much bigger right so that is the first tip if you want to low down the volume then you can just uh, drag this volume. Uh, drag, drag this line uh, down. In this video, I'm going. Nice, right? So how uh, how about uh, separate the audio or mute the audio? In order to mute the audio, you have two uh, two option. Uh, the first option, you can right click on here uh, to click uh, and select mute the audio, or you can press your control uh, your shortcut control shift M to mute the audio. And the second option is to detach the audio and delete the audio from your video. Like this, if, for example, if I mute the audio, we cannot hear it now. Nice, right? And the second option, uh, let's unmute it. And the second option, we can detach the audio uh, by uh, right click and also, uh, you can also grab, press Control and D and we can uh, separate the audio. If you separate the audio, then you can see the waveform uh, much better. It is higher now. You see the difference here. Uh, let's control Z. So you, you see here, the waveform is very low. But if you separate the audio, the, your audio track uh, will show the, the waveform better. Uh, so we are going to uh, detach the audio. So you see here, the waveform is much higher. And now we can delete the audio, this audio track. So now our video will, will not have the audio anymore. Then like this, uh, but be careful to do this because uh, whenever we're shooting video, we always want to use the, the audio, may, maybe in some cases. So uh, normally we just keep the audio and mute it. So we are going to press Control Z, Control Z again. And then if you want to, if you want to mute the audio, just right click and mute the audio. 
Okay, so that is very simple, right? Now, what about adjusting the, the audio level inside the audio editor inside Filmora 10? Okay, we can do this. Uh, there's two options. The first option, you can double click on the audio. Uh, let's unmute it first. You can double click on the, on the video with the audio inside. Double click on this. And now you see this is the property, property of the video. And of course, your video has audio inside. So we have some tab here, video audio, color, and animation. That is all, uh, these are all the property of your video. And we are going to select the audio. Uh, you see here, well, we have this circle, this circle uh, showing you the left, left ear or right ear. If you want to change the, uh, your audio to left ear, then you can uh, drag this dot to left, right. Now you will only hear the audio on your left ear. Uh, let's play it. So inside Vimeo 10, there's an audio editor. So we can, and vice versa. If you want to change it to your right ear, you can just uh, right to this this area, right? And have you increase the volume of your audio or reduce the volume of your? So that is how to change uh, from from left ear to right ear uh, in this area. And we can also put a number here. If we reset it to zero, then it will become balanced. So. Uh, it will become to this position, okay? That is a slider and the circle. And this is a, the slider for, to control the volume of your audio. You see here, this is um, the waveform. And, and if we increase it, the waveform will change like this. You see the waveform in, increase. It's much bigger now, right? And if we reduce it to this one, it is mute. Uh, we cannot hear the audio anymore. Let's play it. Right. And now, if we want to uh, increase it to this level, zero, and now we can hear the audio back. Ooh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. That's nice, right? And another option in Femora 10, we can add audio keyframe uh, to our audio track on the timeline. So I'm now going to separate the audio to get only the audio tracks. So it's much better for you to, to view. Okay, let's se uh, separate the audio. Detach the audio. Okay, so first thing first, the audio keyframe is very important. It is commonly used when you have a background music and uh, also people talking. Uh, talking like this. Sometimes when you want to, to load out the volume of the, um, uh, the music, so this is uh, my voiceover. Okay, now I'm going to, to drag and drop a background music and to show you how to use the audio keyframe. Okay, let's click OK. And this is a music, so we just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Being mentioned that in Femora 10, you can add up to 100, 100 different uh, audio tracks. Uh, on the timeline, so as many as possible. It is very useful uh, for you to add background music and also add sound, you know, sound effect and other stuff uh, on the timeline. Okay, so for example, at this position, I want to load out the, the volume of the background music. I'm going to use the audio keyframe. To add audio keyframe to your, to your audio track, you select it, uh, to double click on, on it, and this, this diamond, uh, this diamond, um, Icon. Okay, this diamond icon is the uh, the audio keyframe. You can click here, and now the first keyframe has, has been added to your audio track. And you move some frame forward like this, and then you click on this uh, this diamond uh, icon again uh, to add another keyframe. And at this part, for example, this part, I want to load out the volume. Then I'm going to uh, press to move the playhead to this position and add another keyframe, and also. Uh, put it at this position, add another keyframe. Now I can just move the keyframe to reduce the volume of the audio like this. You see here, so from here it is uh, low and then from uh, here uh, it is uh, low. Okay, and being mentioned that you can also move the keyframe uh, along the timeline to where, where you want. Okay, so you can adjust it, it is very flexible. Let's listen to it again. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you... Nice, right? So that is how you can add audio keyframe. And of course, you can select the audio keyframe and press delete to delete the keyframe on your audio track. Also, I want to delete this one. 
and also I want to uh, right click and select delete also it's possible also and this one I can just delete it so we we don't have audio keyframe anymore okay so that is how to use the audio keyframe inside Filmora 10 and the second option I want to add a fade in and fade out to our audio track uh, for this one for the background music uh, we have two options to do the first option we use this one this is um, the white dot uh, on the left corner of the of the track we can uh, left click on it and then drag it to the right uh, this is to add the, uh, the fade in effect for your music and so we do the same to add a uh, fade out effect uh, like this uh, so uh, nice right and that is the first option to add fade in and fade out effect the second option you can also go to the property of the uh, of the audio here you see here it is the fade in and fade out slider we can slide it to the right to change the fade in effect you see here it changed right and uh, to slide it to the right to change the fade out of the fade out effect inside Filmora 10 most of the time we will use this audio uh, audio editor to control our audio so this is a pitch the pitch means that if you increase the pitch uh, it higher pitch and lower pitch to change the voice for example here I'm going to delete the, the background music and for this is a, this is my voiceover this is normal normal voice right <sighs> hello everyone and now I want to increase it and we can increase the pitch here change the pitch to six it will become a robot voice like this welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to edit and we can also change uh, the pitch uh, slide to the left to change my voice on so you listen to it your audio using Filmora 10. So inside Filmora 10, there's an audio editor. Okay, to reset it to normal, we just click on this button. And another option, we have the equalizer here. So the equalizer will control your uh, the frequency of your audio. We can uh, select some effect here, for example, classic or dance or low bass or many other many other things here. For example, we can choose this one, techno, and uh, to change the the audio effect. We can. Have you increased your or how about low bass? Nice, right? Volume of your audio. So to use to use the equalizer, it is um, very flexible uh, to add uh, an audio effect to your voiceover or to your music. And remember, you can also con customize. You can click here to customize the uh, the frequency of your audio. Uh, here, for example, this is a reset, and we can also uh, reset it to default and then uh, increase or reduce. Uh, by this slider yeah. okay so that is the, the about the customized equalizer let's click OK and how about remove background noise when shooting video outside or maybe with a bad uh, microphone uh, you get uh, a lot of noise in your video and you need to remove that background noise you can also use uh, this one this is the function in Filmora 10 you just check this remove background noise if your uh, video has background uh, background noise like fans or wind or windy windy sounds or something uh, you can just remove it okay and uh, for example we can check here and then we can adjust this one but remember this feature in inside the software can uh, can only help you reduce the background noise a little bit if you want to get the best audio you need to use the correct microphone so just this one I use the road while let's go so it's the voice is nice right uh, like this reduce the volume of your audio no. okay uh, so that is about the denoise but uh, actually I record this uh, video inside my studio so there's no background noise I don't want to use uh, this function uh, and another option here this is a new uh, a new feature in Filmora 10 is audio ducking so audio ducking uh, work the same way with uh, audio keyframe so when you use audio ducking you don't need to use audio keyframe anymore okay like this uh, if you drag and drop the, uh, the background music here and you have the audio the I'm sorry uh, we need to move both the, uh, the video and the audio if you want to load out the volume of the, uh, the background music at this position you don't need to add an uh, audio keyframe to this position and this position you just need to enable the audio ducking okay so for example this one I can double click double click on on it and now I will check the, the ducking uh, option here so it will low, lower the volume of all other clips under it 
so at this position, this is the level. So we can also change the level here. We can increase it. Uh, 65 something and it will uh, load out the volume yeah load out the uh, lower lower the volume of the background track like this so whenever we uh, speak or your character speak the background music will go down yeah let's listen to it everyone welcome to my channel nice right so, and another, another good thing about the audio ducking whenever we enable this uh, audio ducking feature and we move the clip to anywhere on the timeline it will affect all other clip under it like this if we move to this position it will load out the volume of all other audio track under it okay nice right so Okay, so that is all about the audio editor inside Femora 10. But if you want to control all the audio track in, in Femora 10, there's another powerful tool inside, uh, inside this program called Audio Mixer. Okay, so this is the, the audio uh, mixer button. You can click on here to open it. Uh, this window will control everything uh, on the timeline about audio. Okay, so you have this one. Uh, this is a video and this is the video too. Uh, so video 2 has uh, no video, just a, an empty track. And this is the audio 1 and audio 2. So we can play it uh, to see the waveform and the volume like this. So at this position, we have only audio 2. It is uh, the background music here. And at this position, for example, here, uh, for example, here we will have the, the video. Let's play it. Tutorial, I'm going to show you, you how see here? to increase. It is the audio one. Audio one in uh, is uh, on this track, and the video has no audio. So this audio mixer is very important to control the audio inside your project. Uh, and you can also change the left ear, right ear here, and also increase and reduce the volume right here. And also you can uh, have some more option to change it to stereo or surround. And it is a master volume control to control everything on, on your timeline. If I reduce it to zero, then you cannot hear anything on, on your timeline. No sound, sound effect, no background music, nothing. Like this. You still stay the, the waveform, so you still uh, have the, the, the audio, but you cannot hear, right? And if we increase it. On how to use the audio what? mixer inside this program, okay? So the first thing, okay, okay. So that is all about editing audio inside Fibro 10. I hope this tutorial will helpful for you. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.